All right, we're talking to Link Casey. He's actually an instructor here at Casey and Son Horseshoeing School. Tell us a, a little bit uh, about the courses and, and what you do here. Well, we try to make it as simple as possible in the teaching process. And really, we try to teach, there's just six basic steps we teach here uh, to shoe a sound horse. And that's really what we go over for the whole course in six and 12 weeks. So we try to make it as simple as we can. Okay, could you tell me a little bit about the atmosphere around here? Well, we try to keep it as laid back as possible. It's not real strict or anything like that. And uh, we do have a few rules, but um, pretty lenient. And um, we feel the more laid back it is, the better everybody performs. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Right now we're watching Link Casey uh, helping to instruct a course here. So what are you guys doing down here? Right now I'm using Super Fast, made by Vet Tech, to build this horse some toe because it had broke off quite a bit. And when we set our shoe on there, there was too much shoe hanging around his foot. And just as a precautionary measure to keep it from ripping off, I'm giving him some artificial foot. And so you can read on the thing, 30 second set time and two to three minute full cure time. So it'll sit there about 30 seconds, it'll get kind of soft as it kind of sets. Of course, being cool like today, it'll probably take about five maybe seven minutes just so you can get hard. <coughs> then you can rasp and smooth that up just like the regular foot. Okay, who am I speaking with? Jason McKinney. Okay, and where are you from? I am from Pennsylvania. So what brought you here to Casey and Son Horseshoeing School? Well, I first started looking for a school. I was looking on the internet. It's where I found the school, and from my opinion, it's the best one in the country, so that's why I came here. So how are you liking it so far? I love it. I've learned, I've been here two weeks and I've learned more than I could ever imagine to learn and I still got 10 more weeks to learn. So I appreciate everything they're teaching me here and I'm learning a lot. Great, thanks. Thank you. Okay, now what's your name? Eric McDuffie from Kentucky. Okay, from Kentucky. So yes, what brought you to, to Casey and Sons Horseshoeing School? Actually, I found a thing on the internet and then with extensive conversation with Mrs. Casey kind of convinced me uh, us where I needed to go to. So what's some of the things that you've learned so far since being here? Six steps. That's the key right there. Uh, of course, for me to sit here and explain it would take a little too much time. Mm -hmm. So you'd have to come to school to get that part figured out. But uh, six steps is what's the main uh, thing they teach here. Okay, so I guess uh, are you enjoying yourself so far? Oh, that definitely. Oh, I can't complain at all. Best decision ever made. Hands down. All right. And... Uh, Tell me a little bit about the atmosphere around here. Uplifting. I mean, it's, you, you learn, and it's a relaxed atmosphere. I mean, you, you can't beat it. I mean, you learn more. Uh, there's no, the stress ain't there. They let you go at your own pace, and if you need extra attention, they give it to you. I mean, it's not a situation where you're in a group and everybody has to learn right now. If you don't keep up, you're falling behind. Don't work like that. Uh, they make sure everybody's moving along where they're supposed to be. What's your name? Hello, I'm Clay Golson from Franklin, Tennessee. Alrighty, and what brought you here to the school? Well, a lot of a lot of research went into it. I checked into a number of schools around the country, um, checked with a lot of the vets, um, a lot of the farriers around my area. This name kept coming up. Uh, a lot of the other farriers have heard great things about it. They've told me about the research center. They can do just all kinds of stuff. They, If you have a problem, they start checking it out. They find out what works, what doesn't. They can back it up with the research, and uh, it really impressed me. And upon talking with the... Casey's, uh, everyone's nice, um, made you feel right at home even when you came to visit as well as your first day here and on and really enjoyed my time here so far. All right. Um, well, he covered a lot in that one question. <laughs> I think that just about says it all. Thank you. Thank you. Now, what is your name? Uh, Monique Lenans. I'm from South Africa and um, the people that referred me to this place are from Johannesburg. And uh, there's only three ladies in the whole of South Africa that are farriers. And um, that is one of the reasons why I wanted to do it, to prove to men that women can also do it. And uh, I also want to correct some problems on my horse, um, which I think our farrier is not doing much of anything. And um, I've looked up a couple of schools in this area, and this was the best one. Because I think doing everything practical helps you do more than you know sitting in the class just looking at books the whole time. Um, so getting down to do it physically um, helps it a lot better and the people here are much nicer, <laughs> you know, they comfort you in different ways. Um, the first few days I was here, nobody was here and uh, Miss Ginger 
um, showed me a couple of places and um, explained to me how it will go. So it, it set my mind to ease. <laughs> I was not comfortable. <laughs> well, being a, a female farrier, um, do you have anything out there to say to girls who might be intimidated about getting into farrier? Well, your first few days at class, the guys do intimidate you because they learn faster and um, their hand and eye coordination are better than ours. But I think women are much better because we like to perfect things. And, um, well, this is the best place to perfect it because you get to learn a lot more not just on shoeing um, you get to learn about different breeds and um, how to take care of your horse nutrition and everything okay great well thank you very much okay well what's your name I'm Jamie Aldrich and where are you from Thompson Georgia and what brought you here to Casey and Son Horseshoeing School well I did a lot of research uh, talking to vets and on the internet and they all recommended this school out of the others so how are you enjoying it so far? Oh, it's like the best time of my life. I love it here. <laughs> I like half time I don't want to go home. I just want to stay here and shoot horses. <laughs> Could you tell me a little bit, um, you know, about the environment here and, and kind of what you've learned so far? Uh, I've learned so many things. I mean, we'd be here all day if I had to list everything I've learned. I, I like everybody seems to get along. It's nice and relaxed and they let you work at your own pace. You don't, not, it's not a race to shoe horses and everything here. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> okay, we're going to take a second and stop and uh, talk about um, a TV show that's actually shot here at the FNRC, Casey and Son Horseshoeing School, called Horseshoeing Time. So, Ralph, you want to tell us a little bit about that TV show and how it got started here? Well, I kind of got talked into that, uh, Emily, and since I'm the host today, I guess I'm the biggest knothead out there, but it, the whole purpose of it is to educate the horse owner public that the fairy is the most important person to the overall health of the horse. And, and when a person starts seeing and you start educating the horse owner, then the farrier can make more money. And that was the whole purpose. Plus to let them see that the farrier is a, not, a lot more knowledgeable because a lot of people get the idea that he's just there to nail a shoe on. And a farrier, a real fairy after he really gets into it, He's a lot more knowledgeable. He must understand the weight of the horse, the width of the horse, the length of the horse, the motion of the horse, the anatomy of the horse. Then he's got to understand the psychology of the horse, how his mind works. Three things motivates him. And you learn that in the, in the shoeing process. And then you got to learn people because they're the ones that pay you. So there's only seven things that motivates me and you. So the point is, though, a person has to understand a little bit of business, how to deal with a horse owner. And we go through that because the horse owners come here and a lot of the horse owners that bring their horses here actually participate. We're in that we can uh, use them and let them ask questions and it sort of gives you a, a head start on how to talk to them. And then another thing we try to do, we try to, a lot of the, the people, especially the young ones, want to apprentice under somebody after they get out of a seasoned fair. And so the fairs that come here a lot of times, they'll take somebody from here before they take them from anywhere else because most of the time, most of the people we have here got good attitudes, and I, I, I like that, but anyway. Okay, well, thank you. I hope I answered all that. <laughs> I, I think so, I think you've done a really good job. Did I go the way job. around the barn? <laughs> I generally do, but anyway, it's been just a great opportunity to be in, you here and getting to talk to you about the school, and, and uh, we're looking forward to you being our next student. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see about that. <laughs> right, our Horseshoe in Time TV show comes on uh, Dish Network, and it's on Sunday mornings. Well, I guess we can put it across the screen when it's on. It's on Dish Network, 9411. We can put all that on our camera. Save sure me can. time. Anyway, I appreciate talking, having the opportunity to talk to the folks out there and you. So it's been a great day. Okay, great. Well, thank you very much.